All right, we're here with Lisa Ling at the Paley Center. So Lisa, this Sunday's episode, very special episode. Can you tell me what's what's the episode about and what we're yeah. gonna see? It's uh, called Invisible Wounds War and it's a show that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time because hundreds of thousands of young men and women of my generation and younger have been deployed overseas in combat and, ha and, and a lot of them have been coming uh, home with devastating levels of PTSD and I've never really known what it looked like, what it felt like until I had this experience. I actually saw what PTSD is like manifested in these veterans and they really allowed us into their world in such a profound way but I also saw them get their spirits back and my hope with this show is that people will watch it and think a little bit differently when they see our, our troops um, or men and women uh, who served in our military and, and offer them a, 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 an expression of thanks, gratitude. And why do you think this is a story that we haven't really heard about yet? Is it, is it because it's kind of a downer story or just people don't want to hear the negative side of things? Why is that? Well, as we... The war in Afghanistan has been going on longer than any war in American history, but yet we hardly hear anything about it. And I think that there's a level of, of fatigue about things related to the war and about veterans, which I think is such a shame because we're possibly going to face a tremendous crisis with all these veterans coming back with PTSD. And it's so important to give these men and women our support. It's so crucial because this is entire an entire generation. Wow. And so what, I guess what was the biggest surprise for you? I'm sure there were many, but what, what was the biggest thing you kind of took from the experience of doing the story? The biggest surprise for me was seeing these veterans actually get their spirits back like, the, the show is actually so much more hopeful than you would ever think it would be. And even though there's no cure for PTSD, there's a way for these veterans to better handle the situation if they just learn how to do it. And so that's what our show is about. Okay, now when people watch the show, would they be able to do something, you know, after the show to help? Or, you know, either send donations or just do something to help these people? Yeah, I mean, if they go to own.tv, they can find out organizations that are working with veterans, and there's so many of them. And, and all you have to do is Google veteran services in your own own community and you can learn more about how can, how you can contribute to the effort. Okay. And now your, se your season of the show has been so great. Yeah. What else are we seeing after this episode this Sunday? Well, after our, our veterans episode, we have this incredible uh, show about twins. You know, my sister is the closest person on earth to me, but I've always wondered what it might be like to share the same DNA. And so it's about the incredible bond of twins. Um, and we are also doing an incredible story about the high number of African American men incarcerated. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize that one in 12 black men have seen the inside of a prison, yet it's something that, a statistic that we never, never talk about. So we introduce you to some of those people behind the statistic and I think humanize the story in a way that I know I've never seen before. Wow, amazing. All right, well thank you for all Thanks, your great Jim. work and we'll talk soon. Thanks,